hi guys still welcome thanks so much for clicking so americans nigerians and indian women convert to islam after yusuf eti's lecture today alhamdulillah we have some more people ready to do the shahada enter islam with us what we want to do is that first of all i'll let you know we've already talked to them and they've actually expressed their belief behind the stage so that we know for sure that they know what they're getting into because after all, if you're going to be a Muslim, you've got to know what it's yeah, all about. And what we did, we explained it to them, and we're going to do it again. And the sisters are here to help them. We're going to say it in English first, and then we're going to say it in Texas Arabic. Inshallah. And I'll start with Rosalind first, and just repeat after me. I bear witness. I bear witness. There's no God to worship. There's no God to worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. Muhammad is his messenger. Muhammad is his messenger. Takbir. Now. Takbir. And, and now I'm going to ask our new sister, tell me your name. Charlene. Charlene. Oh. Um, okay. That's a new voice. I'm going to ask her to repeat this in English. I bear witness. I bear witness. There's no God to worship. No God to worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. I bear witness. Muhammad. Muhammad. Is his messenger. Is his messenger. MashaAllah. Takbir! Takbir! Now what I want you to do, everybody get up. Get up off your feet. Get up. Stand up. On your feet. Yeah, not not off your feet, on your feet, yeah. Get off your seat. <laughs> Everybody up. All of us together, we're going to help them do the shahada. This way we're going to ask Allah to give some reward to all of us. Ashadu. 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 An la ilaha. An la ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu Wa ashadu Anna Muhammad Anna Muhammad Rasulullah Rasulullah Now say it Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar For the next 60 seconds I'm going to try to explain a simple point to all of us and for our new sisters as well. When anybody accepts Islam, Allah forgives all of their previous sins since they were born. He turns their speedometer back to zero. And then He replaces all of their deeds with good deeds. Mountains of good deeds, no bad deeds. Back again like a newborn baby as a virgin starting all over in the life. And this is the Rahmah of Allah. But there's more. Allah accepts their dua immediately. Immediately. Because they are pure and they're close to Allah. So we're going to ask them now as their first act as Muslims to make dua for us and for the Ummah of Muhammad Wasallam that Allah give us the success. So ladies, we just want you to, if you would please, Come to one second, if you've got anything you'd like to say to us, or make dua for us, please. If you want to say a few words as well. Go ahead. You get the microphone. Yes. If you want to, up to you. Or you can just make a prayer for us, up to you. I pray for each and every one of you, and I've been studying Islam for 17 months, and this is a really happy day, and I pray for all your sins to be forgiven, and for Allah to be merciful to everyone here. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you so much and I pray Allah will bless you and keep you all in good health and in good spirits and enjoy the afternoon. So I just want to say thank you very much. God bless you and keep you. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! I pray like a Christian for now with time. You know, though I just... Assalamu alaikum, I'm Sister Patricia, I'm from Germany and I came all the way here with my friend Marlies who is 
standing there and my two daughters. First, I would like to thank Allah for making it possible for us. It's a dream come true and for everyone who was involved just to make this happen. I have one thing to say to those new Muslims and to everyone here. Before I became a Muslim, you think of like dark men with their beards, these are the Muslims, they are criminals, they are rough, they are rude, and the women, oh poor women, they are so oppressed and they are so beautiful, why do they cover up? And subhanAllah, the strongest men, the strongest men I ever saw are the Muslim men. And at the same time, I haven't seen any eyes much more filled with tears than the eyes of a Muslim man when the name of Allah is mentioned. And I haven't seen any woman more beautiful on this earth than a Muslim woman and another woman more beautiful and more respected in Islam than the Muslim woman is. And being a Muslim is the best that ever happened to me in my entire life. And I hope they will experience the same. Allahu Akbar. Wow, that was so powerful. Wow, just imagine people were convinced enough to actually take their shahada after listening to, you know, a message about Islam. They were being moved, they were touched to come out to take their shahada. And the last lady that spoke, she's related to most of the ladies that came out, or most of the women that came out to take their shahada. I just love how um, Sheikh. Yusuf Ethis, how Yusuf Ethis actually communicated with them, you know, letting them, and he made mention of something that before they bring you up uh, on stage, on the altar, they will take you off stage to ask you if you're, if you're truly ready to become a Muslim. They want to know if you're totally ready, you are not being forced, or you are not being cajoled to do it. So if they are, they, um, they, they are assured that, yes, truly you want to be a Muslim, then they will bring you to the altar. Then you take your shah at that. So times it happens like that when you know Muslim scholars give message about Islam, they'll tell you who want to take their shahada and convert to Islam, they'll all come out, they'll take their shahada there. And five women came out, a Nigerian, an American, and an Indian. So they are from these countries. I am so impressed. I just believe that the, the Nigerian might be the black woman. I don't know, I'm just saying though. But that was so beautiful. And I love the fact that he told everybody to stand up so that they can all, you know, welcome them with an open arms. They can all welcome them well to Islam and they can also connect with them and try to show love to the new Muslim converts. Then their prayer point was incredible. It was nice. Even though they still have this Christian-like kind of prayer, but with time, they'll get used to how to pray in in Islam. I, I noticed that the second woman that was praying, I think the dark woman that was praying, they, um, they had to cut some of the clip out. I observed it because maybe she was praying like a Christian and she was not really, and they wanted her to pray more like you know, a Muslim-like person, like pray in a Muslim way. But the last woman that came out said a lot of beautiful messages. She said she was happy that they finally accepted Islam and she's grateful for everybody for their, you know, their support, for their works into the work of, you know, Allah, for being diligent. And that was a beautiful one. I really enjoyed it. Amazing, amazing. Wow. Good, 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 good. I just love how they call it, the, the child that was being coordinated. You know, it gave them rooms to converse and be comfortable. Him telling them to pray and also telling them to all say their shahada as once just for them to to be comfortable and let them know that oh you are well welcomed into the religion islam thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye